With us, Felix Ortiz, Chairman of the Assembly Senate New Jersey Hispanic Task Force, Assemblyman Ortiz. So please tell us a little bit about what's going on this weekend, Somos El Futuro Inc., which has come to be the biggest gathering of the Latino community across New York State, uh, all kinds of um, health, industries, and uh, education, as well as economic development get together to discuss the, uh, their communities and share what's going on in upstate and downstate. So tell us about this. Well, uh, thank you very much. This is uh, our, annual, uh, our 26th annual Somos El Futuro conference uh, in Albany. Uh, since 1998, uh, we, will be, we, we have been coming together uh, from Buffalo all the way down to Montauk, from Montauk all the way down to San Lawrence County, San Lawrence County to Staten Island, uh, to discuss and to put together uh, a public policy uh, issue agenda uh, regarding the Hispanic community. And the main purpose of this is to let elected officials in leadership capacity uh, to know about what are our real needs, bilingual education, access to health care, access uh, to language barriers, uh, to make sure that our community will be able to get the services that they deserve. And uh, now that you mentioned elected officials, those that are elected that are already helping our, com our communities coming from the Hispanic background or Hispanics themselves, but it's very important and especially for the upstate New York area, I believe, uh, that needs a little bit more of organizing in terms of finding new talent to be able to occupy more spots in the legislative uh, assembly Senate agendas. Well, one of the things that we did this year, uh, which is different from many, many years ago, is that uh, we created uh, a 500 uh, uh, second year on the roll summit, uh, a youth summit. And this youth summit uh, uh, is a cross section of people from Buffalo to Montauk, throughout the whole 62 counties in the state of New York, for the purpose to uh, bring awareness and also to have them to have a better understanding about the governance, how government really work. What is the role of the legislator? What is the role of the Senate, the Assembly? What is the difference between speaker? What is the difference between the president of the Senate? What is the role of the governor? Especially, as we know now, we don't have a budget yet. Well, who, has, who really have a role in the budget process that will uh, determine at the end of the day whether the mental health community will have the funding that they need to serve our community, whether it's a child psychiatry, whether it's a, 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 a prof health professional to deal with autism, a health professional to deal without, uh, with uh, eating disorder, among others. And the same capacity, whether or not we have the funding to continue after school program for daycare, pre-K, kindergarten, as well as after school program. Where is the funding? So this, uh, this forum uh, really uh, uh, was uh, emphasized regarding the areas that was important and the interest for the youth. One of the components the youth addressed was why are we are not be counted to be part of a process? Well, that was a very interesting question coming from the youth. Number two, the issue regarding uh, youth employment. Uh, why uh, the government have a tendency to always target youth employment to be cut from the budget? And then we had to ask them to come and participate, be part of the process in order to become active. Well, the bottom line is that we're trying to, we're trying to have a cross-section and as well as I feel so proud this year because this year we, we, we managed to have legislator, what we call minority legislator, I mean minority Republican uh, from other state, uh, other county around the state participating and moderating uh, some of the workshop. Uh, this, this year was very unique. We had legislator from uh, from Nassau County, from Suffolk County, a Republican legislator from Columbia County, re the Republican legislator from Buffalo, uh, from uh, Syracuse, Rochester, even from, from the areas of uh, Watertown and Jamestown. And, uh, and for the, 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 the youth that are immigrants in this, in the, do you work with this communi immigrant community in terms of education, the DREAM Act, which is a hot item right now, uh, do, do they get to, to learn about these things as well? Well, absolutely. And, uh, and, and furthermore, not only they learn about, about uh, what is really happening here in Albany uh, uh, regarding uh, the DREAM Act and the political game that is being played 
uh, as a result that uh, you have a faction in the Senate, uh, the Republican, uh, Independent, Caucus, and the Democrat. You have a, a three faction, which is the Democrat in the Senate are, are supporting the Dream Act. And then over the sun, you have an Independent Caucus who is supposed to be Democrat. They are running away from the Dream Act. Don't ask me why, but I do believe that our constituents should be uh, uh, no, uh, to notice that these, uh, these folks who were supposed to be working with us, they're working against us. Uh, and they put in uh, politics and election for next year first uh, of people. And I think uh, what we need to be doing is to put people first, then put election and re-election for the second tail in order to get this, this, this job done. They learn all this stuff, and, uh, and I hope that uh, the big signal is that uh, as, as our theme of, the, of this conference today is uh, the time is now, and the time is now to ensure that we can pass the Dream Act, the Dream Fund, that we can demand from the congressional delegation and the two U.S. senators that it's important that they pass the, uh, the uh, immigration reform. But furthermore, we want to make sure that our people are healthy across the 62 county state. Why? Because if you got good health, you, have good you can have a good education. You have a good education, good health, then you will be able to be part of economic development and buy your own housing. So it is important to understand that we want to empower our youth. The time is now to empower our youth. Give them the opportunity to, 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 to have a vision and understanding of what the future of tomorrow is going to look like. But at the same token that I said that, it is very important us as leaders that we can give them the opportunity and for us to pass the torch to them, that they can carry that leadership, that they can carry that to the future, but we need to start now, not tomorrow. So, Assembly Minorities, the, the three biggest focus of this conference is still remain health, education, and economic development. To touch base on the economic development aspect of this conference, uh, please tell us a little bit about the main topics that you chose this year to discuss, and as well as how do you connect uh, the, the regions from upstate and downstate uh, to be able to uh, do worthwhile uh, projects? Well, one other thing that we did is uh, we created a, a minority wo woman business uh, enterprise uh, uh, workshop. Uh, we, uh, we also uh, spoke about the importance of uh, import-export uh, uh, on, on economic development for, uh, for the people of the state of New York. Uh, I, always, uh, I always get a little concerned when we talk about upstate and downstate. So I'd like to refer that, uh, that we are one New York, one New Yorkers. And uh, as a result that we are one New York, whatever happened in Buffalo will have a domino effect to the people down the road or to Montauk. So we, we are, what we did is in the workshop, we also include uh, panelists from every part of the, of the state, from the 62 county. We have panelists that, could, that, that had managed to speak from the perspective of Buffalo, for example, Syracuse, Rochester, Eureka, Jamestown, uh, Amsterdam, Albany. Westchester, Junker, Junker, Syracuse, and Rochester right now have a very serious problem regarding whether or not they will get into the financial control board because of the problematic financial problem that they have. So in economic development forums, we spoke about what are the, the things that we can do and what are the things that they can recommend in order to ensure that this, uh, this particular three county will be able to sustain themselves. So that is a very important. So as a result of all this, we also are creating a new initiative, which is called the New York State Hispanic Business Council. And that is composed of, uh, of corporate America, uh, as well as philanthropic. And the main objective is of this is to use some of the resources that they have to strengthen and to help the Somos, the Somos El Futuro uh, uh, initiative. One, the leadership. One, the second one is the, um, is the apprenticeship and also the scholarship that we give to the kids. So that way that we can train people, get them in the, uh, and move them to the job market. Well, thank you very, very much for being here with us in interview at Somos del Futuro, Inc. Thank you.